Humans are explorers. Since the dawn of civilization, we have sought adventures and brand new discoveries. Our thirst for knowledge knows no bounds. This has never been truer than now, as we prepare to traverse the cosmos. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three space-based discoveries. Hycean exoplanets could be home to alien life. Astronomy is the first science humans have ever studied. For tens of thousands of years, our understanding of the stars has developed. We admire, revere and fear the cosmos before us, as did our ancestors. Even now, scientists continue to discover brand new things in our own solar system. The Earths and Venuses of space, it seems, are rarities. The majority of planets in other solar systems are what some scientists have deemed mini-Neptunes. These mini-Neptunes are in between being a gas giant and a rugged dwarf, small versions of our huge icy planets. Unfortunately, as mini-Neptunes are far from us, we have not yet developed a way to study them up close, thus shrouding them in mystery. It seems that they possess incredibly thick atmospheres full of built-up, merciless pressure, which suggests there is far more hidden underneath than simply bundles of helium or hydrogen. Recently, a team of experts on exoplanet research have challenged the view that mini-Neptunes may not be like Neptune. Using a model, their research revealed that atmospheric pressures of these planets very well allow for oceans to exist on their surfaces for billions of years. With the potential for water comes the potential for alien life, or at the very least, for alien microbes to exist. Dr. Niku Madhusudan, who is an astronomer at the University of Cambridge, has stated, this result greatly expands our chances of finding life. By using the host star, astronomers are able to estimate the mass of an exoplanet to determine whether it is made of gas or rock, but it is near impossible to determine whether it has a solid or gas core. Except, in 2019, thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers were able to glimpse into the atmosphere of K218b, one of these mini-Neptunes, and discovered evidence of clouds and water vapour. Furthermore, just last year, it was announced that there is a possibility that one of these planets could have enough water to sustain earthly life. In Madhusudan's words, for the first time, we demonstrated that planets can be significantly larger than Earth and still have livable conditions. The desired outcome for astronomers is to find an Earth-like planet on which we could thrive, to find the ideal Earth twin, which, unfortunately, is much easier said than done, considering this planet would have to be around the same mass as Earth, the same size, orbit, and neither too far from the host star as the oceans would freeze, or too close for the oceans would boil. While planets such as K218b could surely have Earth-like life on them, Madhusudan has stated it is not best to assume that these planets' conditions will be suitable for humans. Currently, the task is to find alien life, not to find another suitable habitat for ourselves. Hycean worlds are planets with thick and heavy atmospheres that are abundant with hydrogen, which allows for oceans to exist and flourish even under immense amounts of heat that befall the planet. This is the name given to the mini-Neptunes that match the description of potential life-having planets. Hycean planets tend to be fully composed of water with no continents and often have permanent mist rising from the heated waters. Further research into exoplanets may reveal the truth to us within the next handful of years as we develop and establish what we truly mean by habitable. Bjorn Benecke from the University of Montreal claims that we, as a species, have far too high expectations and we have an idea of finding Earth 2.0, there may be other ways of finding other life that is not dinosaurs crawling around on the surface. Even though it is not the easiest thing to do, these Hycean mini-Neptunes can be tested, there are countless mini-Neptunes in space, and based on their positions and surroundings, we will be able to correctly guess whether they have a chance of being habitable or not. According to Benecke, even if only 5% of the mini-Neptune Hycians match the requirements, it would still give scientists an incredible number of planets to investigate. The TRAPPIST-1 solar system is being studied closely by researchers in hopes of finding more of these Hycian worlds. 2021 PH27 is the fastest asteroid in our solar system. Asteroids are nothing new. 
They are space rocks that orbit stars and planets in our universe. Our very own Sun has an asteroid of its own. It turns out, 2021 PH27, which orbits in only 113 days. Unquestionably, this is the shortest known orbital timescale for any asteroid and the second shortest when it comes to objects in our solar system, beaten only by Mercury's immensely fast orbit. 2021 PH27 was found by Scott S. Shepard, with images taken by Ian Del Antonio and Shen Ming Fu. Shepard stated about the asteroid, most likely, 2021 PH27 was dislodged from the main asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars, and the gravity of the inner planets shaped its orbit into its current configuration. Although, based on its large angle of inclination of 32 degrees, it is possible that 2021 PH27 is an extinct comet from the outer solar system that ventured too close to one of the planets as the path of its voyage brought it into proximity with the inner solar system. It is the size of a kilometer, and its orbit is unstable, passing through Venus's and Mercury's orbits, which suggests in a few million years it will collide with one of them and be destroyed or potentially ejected from its orbit into outer space. Being aware of asteroids in our solar system is vital in order to protect ourselves from potential threats that could collide with our green planet. Unfortunately, asteroids such as this one are difficult to notice because they approach Earth during daylight hours, not during the night. Soon it will orbit behind the Sun and be unnoticeable from Earth until next year. The best thing to do is to take images near sunrise or sunset when it comes to trying to observe objects placed close to the Sun. As explained by Dave Tholen of the University of Hawaii, because the object was already in the Sun's glare and moving more toward it, it was imperative that we determine the object's orbit before it was lost behind our central star. I surmise that for an asteroid this size to remain hidden for so long, it must have an orbit that keeps it so near to the Sun that it is difficult to detect from Earth's position. Further images of this asteroid were taken using the Magellan telescopes at the Las Campanas Observatory in Chile. Astronomers are hoping that further research of this will help us understand the laws of orbit better and to discover more about 2021 PH27's personal history and where it originated. Jupiter's wind speed is increasing For centuries, the planets of our solar system have fascinated astronomers, Jupiter being at the forefront of intrigue. To this day, there is much we do not know about the mysterious gas giant. Recent analysis from NASA's Hubble telescope suggests that the speed of the planet's great red spot winds have increased in their velocity compared to the speeds from the previous decade. The Hubble telescope is set to produce regular storm reports of the planet. The overall pace of Jupiter's winds rose by a shocking 8% since 2009, meaning that the current winds exceed a pace of over 400 miles an hour although the speed of the storm's vortex moves at a significantly slower pace since the outer storm circles are significantly more agile than the center. Some scientists argue that the change is minuscule, however, with Amy Simon, one of NASA's scientists, stating, we're talking about such a small change that if you didn't have 11 years of Hubble data, we wouldn't even know it happened. The Great Red Spot has been baffling scientists for 150 years now, since its discovery in the 1870s. As of now, the storm's diameter is 10,000 miles, thrice that of Earth. According to Michael Wong from the University of California, it's only due to the Hubble telescope that we're able to gain any insight into Jupiter's wind speeds at all. This is something only Hubble can do. Hubble's longevity and ongoing observations make this revelation possible. Utilizing the data from Hubble Space Telescope, Michael Wong used a wind tracking software to ensure that the winds have changed, the results clearly backed by the research. Back in 2017, NASA's astronomers also found a sudden, unexpected altercation in the wind speeds nearby a major storm, though the reason for the spike is unknown. The speed of the Great Red Spot is not the only thing about it that is changing, however, as observations have proven its size is slowly changing as well. A century ago, it was an evident oval shape, but now it resembles almost an ideal circle. With brand new research into our universe, there is much to be excited about. The prospects of habitable planets, uncovering more of Jupiter's mysteries, and discovering new asteroids are all extraordinary things that can help us expand our knowledge of the cosmos 
we call home. But what do you make of these interesting space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community by working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.